Okay, so the last part for this intro lesson is um, we'll put an end to the levels, somewhere you can get to, and then we take you to a game over screen. So um, first you can hold control and then um, scroll your mouse wheel out to zoom out a little. You can also hold control and press the minus or plus keys on your keyboard. Um, so let's copy and paste these guys a bit, make the level a little longer. Um, if we want to make the screen even wider, we select the layout, and then we have layout size, and we'll make it a fair bit bigger. There we go. Let's uh, put another bad guy in. And we'll copy another one of these. And we can stretch it out a bit. There we go. Okay. So first let's make our end of level prize. So right click, insert new object, sprite. We'll click right here where we want it. Uh, we'll make it a little trophy. This is what some trophies look like. No points for good art. Get the little bucket tool. Fill it in nice and orange. There we go. Beautiful. We can use the little select tool. We'll select it like that. Crop it. There we go. Beautiful. Um, it's good to get in the practice of naming your things. So we'll call this trophy. There we go. It's a little big actually. So I'll double click on it to open up the painter. Choose resize up at the top here. And then we'll do about 80 pixels. Um, 80 pixels. There we go. It's a little more reasonable. So, um, first we need to make a page to take someone to our layout that we want to send people to on Game Over. So right click on layouts, do add layout. Um, it's asking us if we want to add an event sheet for code for the Game Over screen as well. Uh, we won't bother right now. And then we can give our, our layout a name, so we'll call it Game Over. Uh, right click. I'm just going to insert some text that says, um, here's where we change the text on the left side. You won. There we go. Perfect. And you could make that bigger or you could do your artwork in GIMP and then bring it in as a picture. Doesn't really matter, but there we go. You get the idea. So now we go back to our layout with the prize. And we'll go to our code for the, the, the game. We want to add a new thing which says if our player collides with the prize, so on collision with another object, that's the event we're looking for. And what's that object? The trophy. That's the one we want to see if the player collides with. So if the player collides with the trophy, we want it to go to system. And there's the option uh, go to layout. Um, there's go to layout by name where you type in the name of the layout. Or you can just do normal go to layout and then it gives you the option of either level one or layout one or game over. So we'll choose game over. We'll click done. Now when we play, let's see if I can make it through the level. Um, if you ever switch over and you try using the keys and it's not letting you control, that might be because you've selected the address bar up here. So just click down here. Oh, oh no, this is hard. Oh, this is very hard. There we go. Oh, we made it through the tough bit. Now we get to that prize and it takes us straight to game over. And there we go. We have our game up and running. And what we'll quickly add in is we go to game over, we'll right click, we'll add a new object. And there should be one called button. There it is, button. So make a nice nice button right there. And the text, uh, we'll make it say play again. There we go. 
And then uh, our game over layout doesn't actually have any code yet. So we'll have to go to event sheets, add a new event sheet. Uh, naming everything is a good practice. So instead of event sheet two, we're going to call it game over. There we go. And we have to go back to the layout. We have it selected. And right now event sheet is set to none and we'll choose it. So now it knows the game over layout uses the game over event sheet. And we're in that game over event sheet. We're going to add an event for the button um, on clicked. So what it, the event we're looking for is when it gets clicked. What behavior do we want? Again, we're going system, go to layout, and layout one is, is what our game is currently called. So now when we play, um, oh, that's another thing. Construct will start you in whichever layout you last looked at. So we last look at the game over one. So when we hit play, it's going to start us on the game over screen. So we hit play again, and it takes us back here. Whoa, whoa. Uh, and there we go. So, ah, uh, anyway, you get the idea.